Hi, my name is Julie Roman and I work on the tech marketing team for the CMBU at VMware and today I wanted to give you an overview demo of exploring logs in vRealize Log Insight Cloud. Here we are in the home page for exploring logs and I'm just going to search for an object. Um, in this case I'm actually looking for a vCenter. And our time range is the last five minutes. So I'm going to get all logs returned that have this vCenter referenced in it. So I'm getting a, a log here that's from Active Directory, and then here I'm getting another log, and this one is actually coming from that vCenter. So I only want logs coming from that specific vCenter, so instead of just searching on a text field, I'm going to filter based on the host name, and we'll just leave it as contains. And then this way I'm getting all of the log messages that are coming directly from that host. Over on the right hand side we have fields and these are fields that have been extracted and so um, if you're not sure what to look for in your log data or you do want to narrow the scope of your log search, you can always come in here and click on the extracted field to get a listing of the values. So here we're just clicking on app name and I'm getting a set of values that are present in the log messages for the last five minutes. Now I'm going to do a search for log type. And I just want to find any log messages where this field exists. And I'm going to increase my time to the last hour. So I'm just getting um, all the log messages with that specific log type. And I can expand the details of the log. This is actually an AWS um, S3 log. And I want to make my visualization a little bit more powerful. So I want to actually group by the log type. This is helpful to me because now I can see all the different log types and the volume of log by the color coding. I can favorite this query so I can easily recall it later. And I can also add this query to a dashboard. Um, we have a couple different widget types. We can use a chart, which is pretty standard, or we can do an event stream or event trend or event type, which is just going to be um, the log stream of the widget. So it's going to actually show the log messages. And then I can share this to uh, or save this to a private dashboard that I've already created. Um, have it added to a shared dashboard that's available to everyone who has access to Log Insight, or I can create a new dashboard. Right now, I'm just going to add it to my filters by category. And there, I'm getting the filter by log type and I'm able to come in here and oops I can actually you know edit this if I want to view it in a little bit different way so maybe I want to um, view a line instead of a column or maybe I want to do a table and then I can save that so the dashboard is successfully saved I want to go back to explore logs and we're going to search for another filter. I'm going to filter by SDDCID. Um, SDDCID is a filter for VMC on AWS logs. So all logs coming from VMC on AWS will contain this as a field. And so we can just search logs where if this field exists, that it's from VMware Cloud on AWS. So this is uh, NSX 
firewall log, and we can see the specific SDDC, SDDC ID that it's coming from. Um, by the same token, we can search for SDDC ID does not exist. And these will be all the logs that are coming from either our on-premises installation, or these could be logs from AWS or Azure or GCP. So just anything that's not coming from BMC on AWS will not have this filter. So that's a, a good way, um, a good example of where you might just search to see if a field is present. Another thing that you can do is um, view logs. So if you wanted to view events like this or events not like this, you can filter out um, certain logs. So I can clear that out of my log stream, get rid of some of the noise. And then we've also got the log types tab. This is helpful because we can see all the log messages that are coming in grouped by event type. So instead of seeing this specific message 67,000 times, um, the machine learning has gone through and all these fields in blue, it has learned the field information. So it's grouping all these logs in the same category. If we do want to see the individual logs, we can expand them to get all the log detail. So I'm getting quite a few of these log messages and one way I might use log typing is to actually filter out logs. So we've identified this and assigned an event type to it. This is uh, something that Log Insight is defining and if I wanted to, if this log wasn't important to me, I could actually go through and in log management, I could create a filter to drop all logs of this category so they're not even ingested. So that will uh, help decrease my log volume. So if it's a log message that I can't filter the application from sending, I can filter it on the Log Insight side and keep it from getting ingested. And we'll have another demo on log management while I'll go over that use case. We also have a tab for alerts. Actually, I'm going to delete my previous filter. All right, so now we're just seeing all of the alerts that have gone in the last five minutes, and we're still just seeing this logout uh, event. So if I want to see the details, I can click on the query. Now I'm getting the individual log messages so I can see the details of the user that logged out. Here we've got local administrator. I could add a grouping. So maybe I want to group this by the user. We're going to go by the audit user. And now I can see the log messages by user. So maybe I'm concerned that people are logging in with the administrator ID. So maybe that's something I want to look into a little bit deeper. I also notice in this log message, I'm getting a number of API invocations that the user had during their session. And I don't see that listed as one of the extracted fields here. So if I wanted to, from the stream tab that I'm on, I could do a custom field extraction. So I just highlight the field value that I want to extract. So that's a count of API calls. And actually, let me go into advanced so I can show you what this looks like. Here we've got the extracted value, and it's using the field type for an integer. We could change this, so it's got predefined extractions for these different types of fields, like IP address and MAC address. We'll leave that as is. And then it's also showing us the pre and post context. So I could change this um, to something else if I wanted. Like if it wasn't always going to be user as part of the post context, I could just leave the comma in there. But in this case, it will always have this information. I can also add additional context. But I'm just going to go ahead and save this.
And now I've got this field showing up in my extracted fields. And if I click into it, I will get the different values for the API count. All right, now that I've extracted that field, I'm going to come up here and change my filter. So I just want to clear out the username. And I actually want to calculate um, a new numeric function on that API count. So here it's got the average. I'm actually going to do the sum. So now instead of getting a sum of all the log messages over time, I'm actually getting a sum of the API count. So those log messages where there's zero aren't going to be calculated into the number. So anything that has uh, that is an integer, you can do a calculation on that specific field. I hope you've enjoyed this overview demo of Log Explorer. To check out more how-to videos, please check out our Cloud Management YouTube channel.